Uh, the inspiration for my book is a culminating experience, you know, from my upbringing, my parents, my family, the traditions. I believe that in order to know where you're going to go, you have to know where you've come from. Marcus Peoples is young and ambitious, currently studying for his doctorate. And despite living out his goals, he still felt like something was missing. There's a common narrative that I noticed. I noticed that there was an identity issue, an identity crisis um, with my peers. And I noticed that I, I went through it myself, you know, all these questions because I listened to a certain type of music or I spoke a certain way. Uh, society tried to put me in a box. Growing up with a Hispanic mother and an African-American father, he had to get used to a lot of questions about who he was. The comments of, can I touch your hair? Um, wow, you look, you, you look so different or you speak well for this type of ethnicity. I'd come home and ask questions of my parents. They did a great job of saying, hey, you know, our family is one. No matter what you look like on the outside, our inside is completely the same. The solid foundation of his parents and three siblings helped inspire and push him to publish Proud to be in between. As my little brothers came into the picture, we have different hair texture. You know, our skin tones resemble, but you can kind of tell a bit of a difference. But everything was, uh, it was from an empowerment. We don't talk about it so often, we lead by example. We don't beat it into the head because I don't believe you come out identifying color when, you, when you're growing up. It, it was society that ripped the veil of innocence off and you know, these questions. And Casey and Mark were the best of friends, brother and sister. Always, they told each other. Everything in this story connects to embracing culture, including the illustrations done by another San Antonian. I can't, I can't begin to talk about the book without the illustrator, Miss Gabi uh, Flores. She related to my story on such a level that I was like, wow, it gave me a new uh, perspective because although she is Latina, her skin complexion is something that a lot of people would comment on and not really believe um, that she is who she is and her background is what it is because of her skin complexion. And so she related to the story and I, and I honestly, when, when her and I came together about this project, she fell in love, I fell in love, and the illustrations really, really have been brought to life. There was nothing that I really edited. There was absolutely nothing. Marcus hopes this book will continue to spark conversations and inspire every child to embrace their culture and be proud to be in between. This book right here is definitely a tool. It's a mechanism to help children find and see exactly what they do like about themselves, what's important, you know, what holds value. We didn't, we didn't expect for this to be as impactful, um, mainly because we were just working through it and putting our passions and, and, and what's inside of our hearts on, onto paper and within a book. And so when we're, we're starting to get all this pickup from, from the community, it's very, very, very humbling. When I see kids read it and I see the smile on their face, that is what brings me joy. And that's, that's what makes me feel like I'm getting closer to my purpose and that I'm doing this for the right reason. You all are biracial, all the same family and one beautiful creation. Your hearts beat the same and bring this world so much happiness, different hair or skin tone doesn't define what true love is. For us, a live. I hope this just inspires people. I really do. I hope it inspires people because every single day it just brings a smile to my heart. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. I think that is so incredibly great right? that he wrote that book and now that will help kids just really feel more empowered about you know, their ethnicities, yeah. you know. I grew up in the Philippines. Both my parents are mostly Filipino. I don't look it, okay? <laughs> so I, I always was the one in, you know, that kind of felt different in class right. growing up, yeah. you know? So I think that's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, and being biracial as, mm -hmm. well, as well, I mean, that's, that's huge, because yeah. you, you, do, you don't really look like some of your family, right. but you, it's in you, it's a <laughs> right. part of you, it's a part of your heritage. I think that's a great yeah. book, what a great cause too. All right, you could find his book on Amazon and on the shelves at Felice Modern here in town. Head over to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab for more information on his book.